Tests are beautiful. Anybody that needs a test gets a test. I like this stuff. I really get it. People are surprised that I understand it. Every one of these doctors said, how do you know so much about this? Maybe I have a natural ability. The only thing we haven't done well is to get good press. Uh, we've done a fantastic job, but it hasn't been appreciated. The governors have been very gracious for the most part, I would say. There are a couple that aren't appreciative of the incredible job. I'm very proud. It's, it's almost a miracle, and it is, the way it's all come together. And instead of asking a nasty, snarky question like that, you should ask a real question. Took this over. It was an empty box. We didn't have testing. We didn't have anything. And I'm not just blaming President Obama. You go long before that. We had a broken system, and now we have a great system. I'll let you know someday. Let's see what happens. But I may let you know who's not doing their job. The United States has hit a grave milestone. One million coronavirus cases and more Americans have now died from this virus than were killed in the entire Vietnam War. But as these numbers have ticked up in recent weeks, presidential briefings have largely been filled with self-praise and blame. Our next guest says that when looking at great leadership during a time of crisis, the key point is, quote, a president should be driven by facts, not preconceptions by the larger good not pride. Joining me now, the man behind those words, professor at Vanderbilt University, Pulitzer Prize winning author and MSNBC contributor, John Meacham. He is also the host of the new podcast, Hope Through History, and Jared Cohen, author of Accidental Presidents and senior fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations. John, you say the president should be driven by facts. What do you think about the leadership we have seen over the past several weeks? Not much. Uh, I think a lot about it. I don't think much of it. Uh, this is a case where the, the federal government in a global age is uniquely positioned to be a force for good. It's not about ideology. It's not about partisanship. It's a simple fact. This is a massive organization. Uh, it has expertise. It has the capacity to force uh, the private sector to do what they should do. Lyndon Johnson once said the job of a president is to make people do what they know they should do anyway. And that's what, uh, that's what could happen here. And oddly, uh, particularly on this question of testing, it is mysterious to me why the president does not want to become the hero of this drama. He, he wants to say he's a hero and then do nothing heroic. Jared, the United States has hit one million cases, and I want to share what President Trump tweeted overnight. He wrote, the only reason the U.S. has reported one million cases of coronavirus is that our testing is so much better than any country in the world. Here's the thing, and I, I, we don't need to knock on the president's politics. It's about leadership and honesty. By population, we are absolutely not doing the most testing. That is a fact. How do you, what, what do you make of his response to this? I mean, look, Stephanie, this is, you know, first of all, very excited to be here. John, good to see you. you know, if we look historically at how presidents have handled pandemics, um, we don't have a lot of great examples. You have Woodrow Wilson, who essentially covered up uh, Spanish influenza to double down on the war effort and sent troops on crowded ships all the way over to Europe, where in some cases, 77 soldiers out of 500 on a single ship died. You had you know, Dwight Eisenhower, who was a great general, um, who, by all accounts, was seen as a, a, a very responsible leader who, you know, when warned about H2N2 in 1957, you know, basically dismissed it and said, we have enough commercial vaccinations. Let's, let's let that ecosystem work. The difference with Eisenhower as a great general, he understood that many battles make up a war and he course corrected. And when it became clear that there weren't enough vaccinations to meet the challenges, um, he changed the strategy. So I think my hope is that, look, this is, this is an ongoing problem. This is going to last a long time. There are opportunities for course correction. We've seen it in history. John, yesterday, Vice President Pence toured the Mayo Clinic. He didn't wear a mask, even though hospital policy requires one. He defended himself, saying he is regularly tested. What are your thoughts on that? Symbols matter, and it is uh, I th afraid. I'm afraid it's of a piece with. Um, I don't want to say cavalier. That's that's not right. But but a, of, a, of a seeming lack of seriousness at the very highest level about one's personal obligations here, and even to say that, of course, they they would see this as carping criticism and uh, not being appreciative, as as the president says. 
that speaks to this larger problem, which is the covenant of modern democracies, really beginning with the Depression and certainly in the Second World War, is if you level with us, we'll do what it takes. Right. You, you mentioned the Vietnam casualty figure. One of the reasons we have so little trust in government is because we don't believe that our leaders over several different presidencies of different parties leveled with us about that war. World War Two, FDR, Churchill, they did give us more or less the truth about how complicated and difficult the war was going to be. Give it to us straight and we'll do what it takes. But if you try to have it both ways, if you try to be clever, if you try to send a signal to the red states where this isn't, might not be as uh, prevalent, oh, I, I'm not going to you know, follow along with this sort of NPR-like uh, mask wearing, D just don't do it because this, is, this isn't paintball. This is life and death. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.